hear the word micro, you think small, right? So micronutrients mm -hmm. must not be that important, right, Brian? <laughs> Well, the only reason why they're called micronutrients is because they're needed in small amounts. They are just as important, though, as NP or K to the plant. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, with NP and K in certain crops, you might need 100 or 200 pounds out there, and a micronutrient, you might only need a tenth of a pound. But the point is, if you don't have ample micronutrients, you're not going to raise great crops. We like talking about this so much because you spend all these hundreds of dollars to put that crop in, and it's pretty easy to forget about that last five or ten dollars worth of micronutrients, but if you forget that five or ten bucks, you might not raise a very good crop. Well, I think of micronutrients kind of like uh, as a car. When you think about crop fertility, just picture that as a well-tuned car that's running great but let's just say you take one spark plug out. Think of that spark plug like a micronutrient. All of a sudden, how well does that car run? And you know what? You may have $40,000 of great equipment there, but without that one spark plug, your car is just not going to work that well and your crop is not going to get top yields. So you have to make sure you have every nutrient that your crop needs if you want everything to work out well. Okay, so where this starts is we suggest you take good soil tests. Now you don't have to test every one acre of every field every single year, but do some good soil tests on your farm. If you don't get a micronutrient test, you have no idea what you've actually got out there. We've had problems on our own farm and where we discovered this was when we were actually doing plant tissue sampling. This is another thing we encourage you to do. And we were having major issues with boron and zinc on our farm. Sure, we were doing a fantastic job of nitrogen. In fact, we were even putting too much nitrogen on some of our corn. All right, well, how much good does that do if you don't have the boron and the zinc that you need? And it only costs just a few dollars. But the main thing is we just want you to test your soil, figure out what you've got. And in most cases, we're going to recommend a blended micronutrient product that's right for that crop. So in other words, you get all your boron, your zinc, your copper, your manganese, your iron, all in one shot. So you're not overdoing it on anything. You're not underdoing it on anything. You've got a blend that's right for the crop. Now you may have to deviate from that just a little bit. Let's say, for example, you have an eroded side hill and your zinc is all washed away. You're drastically short in zinc. The other micronutrients, eh, you're doing okay on. And you say, okay, I'll use that blended product. Well, that's fine if you're kind of doing a maintenance level, but if you've got a real problem out there, you may have to apply some zinc to that area specifically. And you just go out and just target that specific area, maybe with a broadcast spread. Then with your planter, come back with that blend of micronutrients, and you may be fine with that. So you do have to be realistic about it. If there's one that's drastically out of ratio with the other micros, you may have to address that one singularly but most times we're gonna be putting on, with our planter anyway, a blend of micros that's gonna feed the crop for that year. If you wanna raise great crops on your farm, and I don't care what crop we're talking about, corn, soybeans, wheat, sunflower, sugar beets, anything, don't forget about the micronutrients. Well, micronutrients are important for a healthy crop, but killing the weeds is critical for top yields. We'll show you how to kill this tough weed coming up next.